I was at Woodstock in 1969. <laughs> I ran away from home at 14 because I knew there had to be a better way. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was, yeah, I learned that it's an inside job. <laughs> So this is Woodstock retranslated in my mind. Oh. You know? Um. <laughs> I love y'all. Oh. You know? It's, um, yeah, when the inspiration came through for Strawberry, I had this tickle. And David always talks about the tickle. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> okay. And, um. And then I heard thoughts of responsibility, and I'm like, oh, I can't go there. And um, so I was in prayer about it, and I heard undefined, you know. Um, the guidance was really to practice keeping my mind in the undefined mode. Um, and... And then it was like, wow, okay. <laughs> and then it was prayerful, you know, always be prayerful with everything you, that you do. And um, let it be guided. And the Spirit gave specific instructions. Don't run to anything. And don't run from anything. And, um, you know, and then there was the collaboration, you know, just joining with so many aspects of my mind. And uh, it was just a beautiful thing to witness, just joining with everyone. I think I've joined with just about everyone here and folks by phone and, and uh, you know, just to allow uh, the joining, coming together and just join. And I, I found out that it really didn't have anything to do with Strawberry Fields Music Festival, uh, that it had everything to do with the joining, um, because we would have an hour Skype call, and uh, we would just really be talking about what's on our heart. And the last few minutes is we talked about Strawberry. <laughs> and... Um, and so I really wanted to stay true to what the guidance was for that. And, and uh, I heard, uh, just trust. Just trust in strawberry is already here, you know, and it will appear. And I went, okay. <laughs> and that's really how all this unfolded, you know. Um, just uh, keeping that the mind in a state of really just, uh, you know, undefined, prayerful, guided, and collaborative. And I just, you know, if I was to tell you all the miracle stories that happened around this, it, we would be here, you know, a long time. Every, this whole thing is a miracle. Um, and the things that are most on my mind uh, are the things like, I would have a thought, you know, of, hmm, yeah, we need to look at that. And uh, it was sort of dropped in, and and right after that, like immediately, exactly what was needed for strawberry dropped in. You know, um, uh, everybody started showing up. As soon as I started thinking about what needed to be done, you know, uh, the right person would show up. And, and uh, hear you all here. The mind's a powerful thing. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and so it's like to witness that, um, that um, life can really be lived very uh, with ease and simplicity. And it's only the mind and the thoughts around it that uh, make it hard. And uh, this, this whole Strawberry Fields Forever um, is such a miraculous thing because I really do see now that, you know, life can be lived very easily and simply and simplistic. 
And um, so I really have to say that I've been just really in my joy. Uh, I feel like I've been totally plugged into spirit through this whole thing. Um, and it's been guided all the way. And uh, yeah, just so many, um, such a witness to the mind. And, you know, at one point it, it was like the lid came off the mind and the mind started to expand out of the structure. Um, yeah, and then it started feeling like it was just this sea of love is the best way that I could describe it. It was kind of like... Um, I don't know if I was getting this telepathically or thoughts or uh, I don't know how it comes, but it was just I, I feel it. It's just this wave of love and it's coming in slow motion, you know, and we're all on it. And um, it's very powerful. And, uh, and all I can say is the only thing that really gets communicated is love. And so, uh, yeah, that's what I want to extend to all aspects of my mind.